Hey guys, welcome to this quick video all about setting up Adobe Premiere Pro. I wanted to quickly show you how to customize um, this window where you're going to be creating your videos and how easy that is to do. So what I want to do is um, show you how I have mine set up and I'll show you how you can create your own custom window as well. And then why don't we just import some media so I can kind of show you how this works. Um, I'm going to import, we'll just do a little bit here. Okay, so this is just a, from a hospital newborn shoot that I did recently, but this is just to show you kind of how this is going to work. Um, so once you import your footage, it's going to go over here. This area is called your project panel. Um, and then this little area right here is called your source panel. That's where you're going to be previewing footage. Anything that plays right here, it's not in your, it's not in your um, project yet. This is where you preview it. You'll set an endpoint. I hit I, and then you'll hit O for an out point, and then you can drag this down right here. This is called your timeline panel. That just inserted that little clip that I set into our video. So right here. What you see playing right here, that right there, that's called your program panel and that is your video. When you get ready to export what you're watching in this window right here, that's your video. What you put down here in your timeline goes up here to be watched. Does that make sense? So let's organize these things a little bit better since I just quickly showed you how this works. Here's our footage. I'm going to create a new bin called footage and just drop that in there. This one I'm going to rename Master Edit. And this is just to help keep us organized. And um, I'm also going to create a folder that says Sequences. That way if you have more than one edit for a certain video, you'll drop it in that folder right there. Okay, so that's just really quick to kind of give us something to work with here. Um, what I want to show you now is how we might customize the way things look here. I have this set up exactly how I like to edit, so I'll show you that real quick. Um, this is my, as I said before, this is the project panel. So here's the name of my project. I just called this Demo Workspaces. Um, and if you click on that little drop down right there, you'll see all kinds of things that you can change there. Over here, I have a window for effects. So this is where I would add any kind of color effects or audio transitions. If I had two clips that I wanted to put together right here, I might put like a, um, a transition. I might put a little dissolve somewhere. Um, anyway, that is where the effects window is. Over here, we're going to our source panel again. This is where we preview our footage, set our in and out points, and then drag it down to our timeline. I also like to put my color effects over here. These are Lumetri scopes that we will get into at a later point in time, but just know that this is where I put them. If you don't have these here, for example, let's just close that panel so I can show you how to put that on there. You would go up here to workspaces, Lumetri scopes. There you go. If it ends up, let's say it ends up over here accidentally. Oh, I don't want it over here. I actually want it over here. See how easy that was to drag? You can drag any of these windows over like that. Um, you can also easily change the size of your windows. If I want these all to be on one, see how that adjusted that for me. I like to have my Lumetri color window over here. You could also dock it over here with the rest of your effects, that's fine too. And that gives you more space in your timeline. That would be a personal preference. Um, this little window over here is for sound. I don't have any sound on this clip. Let's see. Let me add some sound here. So now I have sound. See, that's my showing me how loud my audio is right there. Um, so it's pretty easy. You can adjust how big and small these are. If you're trying to preview your video and you want this to be bigger for a second, you can do that and make it bigger. Make these even. It really just depends on what you're working on. If you have a bunch of tracks down here and a bunch of tracks down here on top of each other, you may want this area to be taller like that. 
Um, so yeah, it's super easy to change things. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. I know we don't, are not getting into the technicalities of um, editing yet. That will come in just a bit. But for now, I just wanted to show you how I have my screen set up. Um, if you go over here, I'll show you again some of these. Let's say you wanted to do some um, color editing. Now our project panel is down here. Our timeline is still here in the middle. Here are our, this is our source panel, the preview panel. Here's our master edit. This is our video right here. And this whole area over here, they have given us room for color correction. So that's kind of nice because you have a lot more space if you're just focusing on color correction. Um, it's so easy to click over there and get your colors right. Now let's say I want to go back to my main edit. I can go back and hit editing. Here I am back in my edit. Um, I don't like how big they have the volume there, so I'm going to adjust that. See, this is why I had my own personal one set out here. Um, let me show you how to do that. So let's say that you have things customized exactly how you like them to be. You would go up here to Window, Workspaces, and then you're going to hit Save as a new workspace. Easy. Insert what you want to call it. Click OK, and it's going to come. It's going to populate up here in your workspaces for you. So that way, um, you can quickly get back to it. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this quick video.